any of these new products, the products themselves and features, and some of the logistics. Okay, um, so first, marketing positioning. Um, so just kind of a, a quick little overview of a smart harvest system diagram. So, you know, charge controller regulates the charge um, to and from the battery bank from the PV array. Um, with our smart harvest charge controllers, we actually have the DC loads connecting right up to the charge controller. Um, so the charge controller has terminals for um, the PV array, for the battery bank, and then also the, D the DC loads that connect directly to it. Um, so the difference kind of between PWM and MPPT charge controllers. Um, so MPPT, or maximum power point tracking charge controllers, um, were designed to track the peak power of the uh, PV array. Um, these type of charge controllers are a little bit more efficient, especially um, you know, in the early morning and um, in the evening or if there's some cloud coverage. Um, they're, also, they're a little bit newer with technology and, and more expensive. Um, pulse width modulation or PWM charge controllers turn off or on the input from the solar array um, up to thousands of times per second. Um, and that tapers the charging current going to the battery bank. Uh, these, this technology has been around longer, um, so it's kind of a proven technology. Um, it's also a less expensive uh, technology, so um, usually you'll find PWM charge controllers are less expensive than MPPT charge controllers. Um, so I'm going to kind of go into what we're introducing. So um, right now, Outback currently offers three charge controllers, uh, FM80 and, and the FM Extreme. These are both 80 amp charge controllers that can take up to 150 um, VOC from the PV array. Um, and then also an FM60-150, so this guy is a 60 amp charge controller that can take up, you know, again, take a, up to 150 um, open circuit voltage from the PV array. Uh, really, applications we see these used in residential, small commercial, um, some industrial type applications, especially with the FM Extreme, um, grid tied with battery backup, so a little bit lar larger power class. We haven't until now in had anything that really reached um, you know, lower power needs and um, haven't had anything um, that kind of met requirements for DC only systems. So. Um, what we're introducing today are four new charge controllers under the Smart Harvest by Outback Power brand line. Um, there's a 20 and a 10 amp MPPT. Those guys are in the on the right or kind of in the middle, um, and then a 5 and 10 amp PWM units. Uh, applications we see these being used in um, include small standalone systems, um, street lighting, especially like DC only street lighting, um, small home lighting, uh, small residential, uh, agricultural. Uh, so really just kind of a smaller, really smart, smaller application needs. Um, so, I'm gonna, so again, we're, offering, we're introducing four new charge controllers. Um, and I'm just going to kind of briefly go over the nomenclature. I get this question a lot. Um, so down at the bottom I have, you know, the four models. There's SCCM 20-100, SCCM 10-100, uh, SCCP 10-050, and SCCP05-050. Um, and there is some uh, <laughs> thought behind the, the naming. So the S stands for Smart Harvest, CC stands for Charge Controller. Um, the technology is either MPPT or PWM, so that's what that letter stands for, M for MPPT, P for PWM. Um, the 20 is the uh, Charge Controller Amperage, so you know that will vary between 10, 20, and 5. Um, and then the 100 at the end is the maximum VOC from the PV array that the charge controller can take. Um, so some of our drivers behind this new product line, um, we, we want to continue giving, you know, we want to provide a one-stop shop, one -stop shop for our installers and our customers. Um, so we're really expanding our small power class offering. Um, this is a market that we haven't played in yet, and so I'm really trying to um, become a player. You, you know, provide customers with a simple to use plug and play solution. So, and these guys, I'll, I'll go into this in a little bit, but come um, preset, factory preset to charge uh, with voltage settings. So, um, though we do have some programming options. Um, competitively priced, uh, and not only competitively priced, but also competitive in features. Um, and we really want to make solar more affordable and accessible to end users internationally. Um, you know, Outback products are more of a premium product, and so bringing in a product line that's um, really more accessible for uh, international customers, and especially customers in you know 
developing world countries. Um, and these are um, branded with the Outback Power name, so it's Smart Harvest by Outback Power. Um, so ensuring, you know, kind of some of Outback's key values and, um, you know, high quality and performance and um, reliability with that. So I'm going to go into the products themselves and some features. Um, so the MPPTs, again, so there's going to be, we're, we just introduced or just um, launched a 10 and a 20 amp um, maximum power point tracking charge controllers. They both can take up to 100 uh, volts open circuit from the PV array. Um, they also select 12 and 24 volt battery banks, so um, the charge controller can also detect that. Um, internal uh, electronic protections, so you know, in case someone reverses the, <coughs> the terminal connections for, let's say, the battery bank or the load, um, we actually have internal protections for that. Um, data logging um, capabilities will be coming soon. We've been, we're working on our new uh, monitoring software and hardware. Um, four charge charge charging regi regime, so bulk absorb float and equalize. You know, equalizes if it's a VRLA type battery bank. Um, kind of something new with our charge controllers, so load control. Um, because these charge controller our loads are directly connected up to these charge controllers, um, th these charge controllers have additional protections um, under load, or also known as load control. So, um, you know, if the charge controller detects that the battery bank is getting, you know, to a low voltage, it will actually cut the uh, the load off and charge and have all of the energy coming from the PVRA to charge the battery bank. Um, so that's called low voltage connect. Uh, we also have high voltage disconnect and this is really a load protection as well. Um, and that, it, you know, if the charge controller sees a high voltage going to the load, it'll cut that off just to protect the load. Um, same with overcurrent protection, so if the charge controller sees high current going to the load, it will also cut off the charging to that load. Um, these guys all come with so three LEDs to indicate battery charging status and PV charging, so you know, whether solar is present or not, and then um, indications on what the state of charge of the uh, battery bank is. Um, charges, you know, AGM flooded and gel batteries. Um, and these guys are certified to an international standard, so they're CE certified, um, IEC 62109-1 certified, and that certification was done here um, by UL. Uh, the PWM charge controllers, a lot of the same features. Um, there's a 5 and a 10 amp, and again, these are pulse with, uh, pulse with modulation um, technology. Um, they both can take up to 50 open circuit voltage from the PV array. Uh, the only kind of the biggest difference is the, the technology type and then um, these guys also have uh, a little USB charger port on them that can charge uh, up to 0.5 amps at 5 volts. So really, really small load. Um, so I'm going to kind of go, so these guys come with some jumpers that will help with some, um, with some of the easy plug and play settings. So um, the MPPT has one jumper type um, and it comes inserted at the factory and that jumper type determines what type of battery charging, um, I guess, ciphers what type of battery charging regime it will do. So um, it comes inserted for VRLA type battery charging, so that's either AGM or gel. If that jumper is removed, it will charge, it will um, readjust its set points and actually charge for a flooded battery type. The PWM's units have two jumpers, um, one for the battery bank type, so either VRLA type charging or flooded battery charging, uh, and also a jumper for um, kind of night light, uh, I guess night light load control settings, and I'll go into that in a little bit. Um, the PWMs, they come, they come, I guess, back from the factory with both jumpers inserted, um, so that's, you know, for it, either both a VRLA, for charging VRLA type batteries, um, and also just kind of normal uh, low charging. Uh, if those jumpers are removed, the first jumper would enable some kind of night light timing or nighttime night light charging to the load and I'll go into that in a little bit. Um, and then the second jumper, if that's removed, that will start flooded battery charging, flood battery bank charging. Mm. So lighting applications. We really see these charge controllers ideal for lighting applications. Um, they're small and compact and I'll go into the dimensions and well, um, Actually, I don't know if I have the dimensions, but um, the small charge controllers are, I think, our biggest one, the uh, 20 amp MPPT, or 
yeah, 20 amp PPT is about a little over a pound. Um, you know, something that you can just hold in your hand. Um, with our you know, upcoming monitoring and control software, we'll have some timer settings, and I'll go into that for lighting options. Um, the PWMs, as I just went over, have some quick jumper settings for lighting control options. Um, and then for large projects, we can actually even preset some settings by um, here uh, by our manufacturer. Um, so dust to dawn, what is that? What's lighting control? So um, the dust to dawn mode, what it does is it enables um, the load to be on during the night. So um, what the charge controller does is it can detect a certain voltage level coming from the PV array. Um, and once, it, once that voltage level goes below a predetermined set point, um, the charge controller will turn the load on. And it will turn it on until morning or dawn time when it starts detecting a, bulk, a I guess, a voltage rise um, coming from the uh, PV array. Um, we do have a couple of lighting timer settings with that. Um, you know, so, so some further options that will be available with our um, monitoring and control software. So again, kind of just going over our positioning. Um, you know, competitive, I'll go into our competitive spec matrix, but um, we really just want to have a, a product that's a player out there with um, what's available now, and Outback wants to become a key player in the, the smaller power class markets. Um, reliable, so these guys are you know certified to um, 62109 or IEC 62109-1 um, by UL. We've done all of the testing here um, by Outback and then also from by our parent company Alpha. Um, so we're really capturing Outback's core values and competencies: off-grid reliability, support, and quality. You know what we're known for, um, and then you know again just trying to reach a smaller power class. So um, expanding our addressable market worldwide. Uh, so now I'm going to kind of go into some of our competitive spec comparison and really where we win. Um, so you can see Smart Harvest we have on the left there, um, and our main competitors on the right. We, we have Blue Sky and Morningstar, those are both domestic manufacturers. Victron Stecca Focus, I think those are all European. Um, EP Solar is a Chinese manufacturer, and Sukam, they're Indian. Um, so kind of some of the features, a strong brand name, brand equity, um, you know, some of our competitors have that, are, are more known than others. Um, certified to IEC 62109, so this is a, um, you know, a kind of an international safety standard for PV equipment, it's specific for PV. Um, we don't see a lot of our competition having that, um, so, you know, we, we see some, uh, some having a certification to a less, um, less I guess less stringent or requirements. Um, you know, auto select can, uh, 12 or 24 volt battery bank, so one unit for multiple applications. Um, the MPPTs have a very low standby current, so um, less than five milliamps, more efficient. Um, data logging, um, you know, it's good for system diagnostics and monitoring. Uh, light control that includes the you know the, the timers and the dust to dawn settings. Um, so really, you know, seeing benefit for um, lighting applications. Uh, load control, again, that's the high voltage disconnect, the low voltage disconnect, um, you know, really protecting the batteries and even the load from, um, well, protecting the batteries from a low state of charge um, and protecting the loads too from high voltage or high current. Uh, LED indicators, so a lot of our, a lot of competitors have that, um, we do as well. And the operating temperature range, negative 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. So really expanding um, where these guys can be installed. PWMs, we see a lot of the you know kind of same features and benefits. These guys have a little bit higher of a standby current, so less than seven milliamps. Um, I think we're right about 6.8. And um, these guys also have the little USB charger, so kind of a little um, you know convenient for very small charging very small DC loads. Um, so now I'm going to go into the logistics. Oh, so I do have my weights and dims. Um, so you can kind of see, um, oh, I was incorrect. So the 20 amp is actually a little bit over two pounds. Um, these are all pretty small products, um, especially compared to, uh, you know, Outback's FM series charge controllers. So, um, you know, the, the biggest one we have is the 20 amp, um, you know, four, four inches by eight by two about. Um, our smallest our, both our PWMs are actually in the same form factor, so the 5 and the 10 amp PWMs. Um, and those guys are, you know, just about half a pound. 
Um, so that's, you know, that was mostly um, most of the product stuff um, and the features. Um, we've been showing these products, I think we, the first time we debuted them was at Inner Solar last year. So they'll be at Inner Solar North America again. Um, they'll be in, you know, Germ or they'll be at Inner Solar Gear Up. Um, and they'll just be traveling worldwide. So really trying to reach a, uh, a worldwide market with